Alright. So apparently you build up specialization bonuses as you finish missions. I'm a little fuzzy about what this means. Set a control one out of four. So if they take full control of a sector, I gotta prevent that. Alright. And is this me? So two star, two star, one star. Hmm. Um. Oh, that's the final battle. All right. I'm not sure. Do I have to? unlock all three of these and then go to the final battle in this little campaign or I don't know how this works well let's do the other one star so that's where the Senate has gone um, either control or research victories quirks crystal storm they're the erratic crystals Reward will be a shining scepter increased tyranny for capturing crystals and tranquility destroys all projectiles Alright, versus control or credits. Obtain victory through powerful generating or saving large amounts of credits. Crystal Field, Crystal Storm, Artifact, Cloak of Riches. small alterations or these are small alterations to the mission and map take these into account when choosing what artifacts to bring with you okay space monsters will ignore you unless you attack and power up to all right still think we're gonna go here so this is what they meant by choosing which artifacts you bring with you so this one has crystal storm quirks so you might pick particular artifacts, which I don't have any to choose from. Oh, actually I do. So I can either bring the Crumbling Crown or Victor's Crown. Let's take Victor's Crown. Alright. Lethal Force Flagship. Okay. In we go. What do we got this time? All right, new card added. Tachyon Torpedoes 2. Destroy three enemy ships for two crystals. Will you draw the card now or place it into your deck? Um... I would love to. I mean, I'm gonna have to toss something. Yeah, try and take it now. I'll uh, use the escape go to lower the unrest factor. It's currently ten. That'll lower it to eight, and that'll drop me below my limit again. All right. So what do we got? So we're at the bottom edge of the map. Good. I like having being on the corners. But we got a planet in the corner here. My preference is always to clear the back and then work my way forward so I have a clean area. Um, what do we got? Derelict Vulnerable Cannon, Ultimate in Space Warfare. Cannon planets can blow up ships from light years away. Power unstable, or power unusable. I wonder what that means. I wonder if you can fix it or something. Uh, prison. Might get a new commander there. That's got a fleet protecting it. Two and five. Search. I think we go after the uh, prison first, see if we can get a second fleet up and going. 
So, you shipyard. Let's go ahead and get destroyer out front. And let's get busy. Hey there, Greenfoot! Fire ships, dogfight, magnetic chaff. Let's inspire. No, ah, of course. <laughs> Gotta blow my ship up right before I finish him. Alright, come on, invasion. I need the invasion. Alright, that's gonna be a big help. Demigod. Exploring some alien ruins, a common soldier touches an artifact which grants him godlike powers. Order them to assist you, trick them into helping you, flee immediately. Um, trick them into helping me. Hey, Vitesse, welcome, welcome. Tricky, tricky. Still a common soldier at heart, you easily manipulate him into giving you secret knowledge. Four new cards. Hopefully not in my hand. Yep. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's not good. Uh, we're gonna end up discarding a whole bunch of those. Let's see. Ah, I can move with him immediately. That's actually pretty powerful. Alright, let's do this. Let's... Let's tacky on torpedoes to get rid of that fleet. And then let's send you guys. Um, yeah, go capture that. Alright, good candidate for improvements in experimental effects. Improve lab world. Do it. Digitize power added. What is digitize? Eight research, convert research into a card. Alright. Alright, we don't have much money yet, unfortunately. Um, I gotta get rid of a bunch of cards, too. Minus defense, plus two research. Or an ex additional exploration. Um... Not currently sieging, so I can't do that one. Guess we'll get some research. All right. Um, I can do without the unrest generation. And that one. Recall. Teleport a fleet back to your home world. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, you need to go to the shipyard. And uh, I've got just enough for another cruiser, or we sell one and get a carrier. Alright, 
here, go in there. Again, none of these are useful for me. This will do withdraw. Close. Almost lost one. Alright. Okay, invasion die. Minus two defense. Let's go ahead and use the minus two defense. I want to make sure I get this thing. Invade. Not sure why it doesn't just say the automatic victory or something, but alright. More exploring. Nothing discovered. And I don't have crystals for the other cards. Alright, so you... Shipyard first, and... No, we're gonna wait. We don't need to fight this turn anyway. Shapeshifter again. I think that's a bad one. Yep, yeah, that's a bad one. You little bastard. Okay. How are we looking? We're looking good. I can fire... Uh, research first. Mass missile racks. Why bays? Um, missile racks. We can take that without too big a problem. I think technically both of mine could. I'm, I'm wondering when to use this. <laughs> I need to use it when it's really going to be important. Um, and I think both fleets can win their fights. So let's first finish buffing this up. I think I'm going to do the same thing. Like so. Alright, so they're going to go here, they're going to go here. I'm going to try to save up enough money, get a third fleet up to kind of guard the backfield and oppress planets. Get our tech first. Aid Fortress, please. All right, so let's go ahead and do this fight. That's better. Group hug. Heal adjacent ships for 100. A laser strike. Minus 100 hit points to ships in a horizontal line. Uh, I like laser strike. Let's take laser strike. Fighting this turn, I'm gonna need to use a card. Only a one would fail the invasion. Let's just invade. Now. 
Ancient Master. On the dilapidated space station, you find an ancient alien wearing a threadbare naval uniform. Given the number of medals on it, the alien has clearly seen countless campaigns in space. Offer it fine space brandy. Tell it tale of your exploits. Throw it in the pain booth. Let's give it some brandy. Ancient Master's eyes twinkle with delight, and it tells you many tales of his exploits. Much is hyperbole, but you do learn a great deal. Alright, so we gain XP. Who gains XP? <laughs> what kind of XP does that count towards? Alright, uh, another fight. This one I might actually want to modify with an extra die. Or the minus two defense would do it, actually. But I've got two crystals. Either way is fine. Alright, bunch of little guys. Group hug, withdraw. Three energy. I do three energy. Yeah, let's do three energy. Better not lose my carrier. That was a little too close. I have to figure out what Geo Shield, Geo Shield does. I'm not under this certain I know what it does. Alright, that's good. Now I just need money to fill these fleets up. Alright, this one I think I am going to... Minus two defense. Really important to keep my my frontier, my borders clean. There we go. And now I got lots of crystals. Alright. Uh, ooh, I like the look of that. I can Tachyon Torpedo that fleet to get another free movement up there to capture that. Hmm. Yeah, money's the problem. Definitely going after the rich city. Do I fight that little fleet or do I use my abilities? I really want to hold those cards since it just flat out destroys things. If I push forward to here, I'm worried about all the connections and what kind of nasties are out there. I kind of want to go here first and then to here, but. Um, hmm. Well, this one's guaranteed to happen, so let's bulk this fleet up. I think I'll just take this fight like normal and then hold my special cards for these other fights. Um, we haven't gained any depth for screeners. Let's. Nothing adds up to 90 for two ships. I'd have to go destroy a frigate or and one more cruiser. Or the carrier. Um, let's go there, there. And another cruiser. Maybe I can get a card to add some frigates. 
Alright, I think that's more than enough to take that fleet. So let's just do that straight up. Hug. Let's do heal one. Pretty good victory. Whoa, hello. Is that like a, one of the flawless victory bonus thingies? Overlord schemes? Yep, cool. At a battleship! Oh! Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think the battleship's going on the other fleet. Alright, so I need to make sure I save a crystal for that battleship. Uh, so that means I don't get to lower the chances here. Playing the odds. Petty King. Extremely influential noble of this world has refused to submit to Imperial rule. Your agents fear that executing them could lead to outright rebellion. What will you do? Back to hostage. Your soldiers brazenly smash into the noble's home and abduct their children after seeing the lengths you will go to. Obedience is immediate and complete. Yay, money! Alright, so, I've got four cards, so I'm going to have to, no, I've got five cards. If I play the flagship, I'm going to have to discard one of the other ones. Probably the renewed assaults. Alright, so we're going to do a flagship. Either, or battleship, I mean, either battleship. Um, so if is this one of those large ships that are a 2x2? Two two? Yep. Alright. Let's how do I arrange this? You on the outside, you here. ability to be able to fire either direction. Alright. One crystal left, four cards. Gonna have to get rid of one. Uh, unless we magically come up with one. So where do I go? Um... Doesn't look like there's a connector up this way. So that fleet will definitely be coming across. Then there is a connector up here, so I'll have to make a decision. Neither of them have gone Senate yet. Um All right, what do we got, little guys? Stun ship for five seconds per energy. That sounds pretty fun. Now let's do a group hug.
Well, that's pretty nifty. <laughs> I don't have a way of modifying this, so... It's... Come on! Luck stay with me! It does! I don't know if this place, this particular uh, map could go any better for me currently. Traitors! You discover a group of traitors in your midst actively plotting against your tyranny. What will you do with them? Public education, re-educate them, space them. Well, public execution, of course. Your plan backfires! God damn! Damn it! <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious! Here I think I got things under control. <laughs> and then a random event just kicks my ass. Oh, cannot believe this. And we're heavily damaged. Uh, this is ridiculous. Well... Do I withdraw the battleship? Clear the sky. Laser strike. Uh, I think we're gonna go laser strike. Get him! Oh, he got those last shots off! Kill this thing! <laughs> that was ridiculous. Uh, I gotta siege it again. Ah, uh, that sucked. Hope I got XP out of that. <laughs> otherwise that really, really sucked. All right, what do we got? Plasma Furnace, Guardian, Misery Weave. Interesting. Psychic link between ship and target heals friendly crew when enemy suffers. Plus 10% of damage inflicted converted to health. Reactor upgrade vastly improves damage. So just straight up damage improvement or we can do a vampire effect and gain some health back when we do damage. Um, that's pretty powerful. Let's do a plasma furnace. <laughs> All right. Well, we survived it, but I'm gonna have to uh, quell the population a second time, which really sucks. But uh, yeah, that second fleet, too, oof, that was looking rough. Yeah, I know. Too many cards. Yeah, now we're starting to see the Senate. I've got to stay there and invade again. Thinking of oppressing. Yeah, let's oppress. Give me even more money. Alright, I think that's worth it. So they're done for the round. So these guys... Pretty important that I get this. Got three points. Don't need to kill a fleet right now, so let's go ahead and do this. Invade again! Alright, 
Alright, no event that hands it back, please. <laughs> Idle robots. Inside the Benefactory, you find operational droids mindlessly fussing away at a spotless interior. What will you do with them? Weld lasers to their heads and wire them into the defense net. That sounds like fun. Lumbering under the weight of enormous lasers, the robots obediently march off to the nearest base. Plus three. Alright, so that'll be harder for them to uh, take back. So that's great. So we're done there. Do I want to do an additional exploration? As much fun as I had on the last one. Let's do it. What the heck? Barrier maze. One pocket of this world's digital network appears to be protected by a tremendously complex barrier maze. The fact that network activity is occurring without the watchful oversight of your secret police is an offense to the Empire. Crash the network. No one keeps secrets from a space tyrant. Crashing the planetary network completely destroys everything and provides a valuable lesson to your subjects. Or tyranny! Alright, that went pretty well. So we didn't move anywhere, but we got 15 more production out of the rich planet, and we secured this one, and got some additional tyranny for firing that laser. Um, what do we got up here? Ooh, the prison. Could get another commander out of the prison. Be a tough one to crack, though, with only one. Yeah, I'm only going to have one die next round. I've got to clean up my local area, too. Alright, off we go. Now yeah, we got some money coming in. All right. Um, the Zerk ships. What does that mean? Oh, he berserks ships. He has an ability to do that. All right. Um, well, we're definitely coming over here. Don't think I need to do anything to buff this up. Ah, don't, I don't have the fleet filled out. I should have filled the fleet out first. Alright, um, remove shish. Let's do group hug. point can't really help with it so in we go got it personal combat a high noble of this world to great offense to an offhand remark to preserve their honor they challenge you to a personal duel pain booth no duel for you Screams the noble service a warning to the others, you will not likely be challenged again. That's correct. Alright. So they're going to put out another militia. I think I'm going to nuke that fleet, move to that to take it. Oof. I don't have a card that's going to help me and I don't have a second die. What are we up to? We're up to 10 out of 14. Uh, oops, there's a connect room down this way. Um, theoretically, I could finish this in two turns if they move here and take that planet. He moves here and takes that planet. That would get me up to 12. It's going to depend on what the next link is, because that doesn't count. I don't think that counts as a planet. It says Crystal World, but I'm not sure just what it counts or doesn't count. I believe that counted. 
So yeah, I may just try to bulldog my way to four more planets for the quick victory. Got money, so before I forget, let's go to the shipyard. Let's just grab some more destroyers. Build that one out. And the other one's still full. That battleship. Not going to oppress. Yeah, we're going to go this way. Um, let's do... Deal. Oh, looky there. There's the extra die I wanted. Not sure I needed it at this point, though. Three more planets. I don't think a barracks counts. I'll probably end up sending the main fleet up here, seeing what's connected here, and then... I don't really... If, 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 if I can keep these two fleets going, and I've still got... One to two firings of the Death Ray, plus this Tachyon Torpedoes waiting, <laughs> so I can clear the fleets ahead of me. It's just a matter of, can I... Uh, do I take the time to grab that one? If I do grab it, that will make the invasions easier on some of these tougher ones. That fleet's going here. We're going to leave that one because it's not allied with the Senate yet. And that's a tough nut to crack. Just gonna be my. I have to make a decision on this one. Do we go up to the crystal or do we go down to the barracks? Because then I have to come back out again. That's what worries me more than anything. What research do we get? Maybe that'll make a difference. Guardian, Kamikaze. I'm um, not really using a lot of the frigates. Let's go, Guardian. Well, that uh, that changes things a bit. They just dropped a second fleet, a much bigger fleet here on that planet I was planning on taking. So that's not fun. Hmm. That changes things a lot, having a whole huge fleet show up like that. Don't have the battleship in that fleet that was about to go in there. Suppose I could hit it with both of my blasts. My tyranny dropped quite a bit. I'm only going to get one shot with the tyranny, and then I've got the tachyon torpedoes. I could basically wipe out that second fleet between the two of them. Um, I think I'm gonna do it. Let's fire this at you. If the big ship had gotten killed, I probably would have gone in with the main fleet and killed both of these. Um... Yeah, let's do it. Overcharge, plus 400% attack, or ship explodes. <laughs> well, what is the or? Is there a percent? <laughs> it's kind of important to know. Do I put that on my, my battleship? Uh, I guess we're going to inspire ships. There ain't no way I'm taking out another one.
All right, good thing we got money. No, no exploration. Artifacts Roadshow. You come across a group of traveling merchants. They eagerly show you their wares. Kill them and take their stuff. 50 die. Haggle with them over their artifacts. Go on Artifacts Roadshow. <laughs> um, let's haggle. A shiny artifact catches your eye. With some haggling, you earn your prize. Siege Wrecker. That an ability? Where did that go? Hard? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Alright, but we're at 12 out of 14. There's an easy planet right there. We can take next, so that would be 13 out of 14. So it comes down to this. Does this count as a planet? I think I'm going to ignore the extra die from the barracks. We're going to go take this and then try to get another one next round. And or this has got like three connections. One of them will be a likely good point for me to get my 14th planet. So that's this way we go. All right. Invasive program ship fire rate reduced by 50%. That sounds fun. Why don't you be invasive? planet. I think it did move it up. Crystal Hermit. Among the flicker crystals of this erratic world, you find a hermit gesturing spastically with a hand covered in crystal piercings. He invites you into his cave. <laughs> shoot him in the face! Um, yeah, shoot him in the face. Bullseye. Hermit's face is a mask of surprise. Just before you vaporize it into a reddish haze, you're pleased to find his crystalline piercings thrum with energy. One crystal. Alright, so we're at 13 out of 14. So, theoretically, I'm going to go after that planet next round. Oh, that's not a planet. That's an Airlink node. Whoa, look at this. The Senate! <laughs> now I wish I had both of those cards back again. Greenfoot, Thornwall. Wow, that's quite the fleet. Huh. Alright, this is not good. <laughs> um, hmm. Not ideal. One planet left. I don't think it counts this as a planet. Maybe it does. We'll find out. So that fleet's definitely going there. Um, let's go ahead and do our fleet upgrade. So now we can drop these back a notch. Uh, we'll put... Destroyers have the 525 health and no shields. Gets have yeah a lot less health, so I want destroyers in the front line, and let's go with I think I'm just gonna go with multiple cruiser. And for the other fleet. I don't think I want frigates anymore. 
turns out front. Do I have enough? Don't quite have enough to fill my back line with the last big ship. And <laughs> one point short for another destroyer. That's fine. Alright, do we use a card? Gain three cards for minus two defense of this world, or what? How's that work? Uh, hey, thanks for watching Dexity. See you next time. Let's get rid of this. Oops. Friendly Crystal World. Not erratic. Oh, so that's an erratic. So I don't have a Friendly Crystal World that's not already erratic. Okay, well then, next turn. <laughs> ah, of course they get allied. Okay. That's not helpful. Well, we're going to find out very first thing whether this does finish the match off. Alright, I can't imagine this fight will be too tough. Um, Inspire. Yep, that was the finish. Galaxy oppressed. Well, that one went pretty quick. I got a pretty good lucky start, I think, on that one. Had a few things go my way, and I never really didn't get to use that battleship all that much. I only participated in a couple of fights, but it probably helped out. Um, so we got an artifact with Shining Scepter, increased tyranny for capturing crystals, and tactic tranquility destroy all projectiles. We only lost one ship. <laughs> That's a pretty good ratio. Yeah. And I think, was that one loss when I had that one planet I finished? I broasted about how good things were going, and then all of a sudden it rebelled and a huge fleet showed up? Can't remember. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty amazing turnout. Bring to Tyrant Command. Here's a perk. Mark of the Warrior. Overlord starts with plus one XP. Marine Escort. One carrier joins your starting fleet. Ooh. Okay. I think I'm going to call it to a halt right here, actually. I need to, um, I don't want to start up another one because in a bit I'm going to be starting Cataclysm. So I think this is a good point to stop. We've got a couple of good missions in, so I've learned a lot about the game. I'm still liking it. It's very much a beer and pretzels type of war game. Bit of a random factor to it with some of the stuff that's going on with the map generation and the random events and stuff. But uh, we're going to keep playing it, see how things go. Um, but that'll be at a future time, so I think I'm going to wrap this up for this one. I was planning on going one more hour, but I think this is a good place to end this one. So I'm going to take a short break, probably about 10 minutes or so, and uh, reset, and then get started up on some Cataclysm Dark Days ahead. So hang in there, guys, and I'll be back online here in just a short bit.